Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have had a wonderful day. I have. It's been pretty good. I got to sleep in a little bit today because I closed the night. I wanted to get this video out a little early today, mostly because I didn't want you guys to have to wait so late. Because I know I posted last night's late, so I wanted to get this one out there as early as possible. And who doesn't like drinking rum for lunch? Guys, remember I'm Justin. Welcome to the channel. Hit the subscription button below, and welcome to the family, guys. So this is pretty lady's choice, actually. This is something that she wanted. Uh, she got to try it with a friend of hers, um, and she really enjoyed it. So yesterday, while I was at the ABC store, I decided to pick it up. Uh, it's already been opened, because uh, she, she drank some of it yesterday. She likes rum and the tequilas and stuff like that. Um, but this is, it's called Cruisin'. It's a distiller's collection at Estate Diamond Black Strap Rum. Uh, distilled and blended. It's 40% alcohol, so that means it's 80 proof. Um, also, it says 17, they're going since 1760. Uh, the master distiller's name is Gary Nethelrop. Um, do, 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 do. It's heavy, dark aroma, slight sweetness with notes of caramel. Hmm. Expertly blended oak notes with compliments of molasses. That gives it that dark, dark tint right there. Um, mindfully crafted in the island of St. Crox, U.S. Virgin Islands. Our estate diamond black strip rum, strap rum, draws its name from the location of the Cruisin' Rum Distillery and where a sugar mill began crushing cane in 1760. So that's pretty cool. I like the, it's cork. I'm a fan of corks. Definitely strong on the molasses smell, almost like a black coffee. There we go. And it's hard to see the label. It's uh, it, the way it is is that the label is just all black and white with a little bit of gold tint, so it's not too uh, noticeable. But it gives it that discreetness with it too. So, but, cheers. Yeah, definitely strong on the uh, caramel and molasses flavor for sure. Maybe a little bit of a coffee bean almost maybe is what I'm getting. But uh, cheers. Okay, so I'm getting like a like a toffee, toffee. I don't know if you guys ever had little bitty candies. Um, maybe a little bit of black licorice in there is what I'm really getting. A lot of black licorice for some reason. Um, didn't really taste a lot of the caramel, but definitely have like again I said uh, heavy on the molasses, which gives it that flavor. That's what they went for the most. That's what their prominent uh, flavor was going to be in this. What I think, mostly because they put molasses on the front of the bottle instead of the side. Usually when you get tasting notes and stuff like that on the bottle, the most prominent one they're going for is going to be on the front of the bottle because they want to advertise that. And then on the side is where the other stuff is. So then it tells you they weren't going for that huge caramel and that huge anything like that. They wanted that molasses. They wanted that rum. Um, and something that would probably blend really well with Coke just because it has that heavy darkness to it. Um, not it's not bad it's one it's better than some of the other rums that i've had on here i think i've had one other rum on here i think it was calico um it wasn't the best it was just uh just wasn't something for me <laughs> um it does have a lingering aftertaste it does stay around for a little while i guess it kind of sticks to your breath a little bit um, it stays on the tongue too, but it's not terrible. It has a very soft taste. It doesn't burn, doesn't bite, doesn't kick. It's just kind of there, really. Um, but, cheers. I know this isn't a really terrible long video. I gotta get ready for work and stuff here in a little bit. I just wanted to try something new and get this out there for you guys today. That way you're able to see me drink something new. But, if you've lasted this long and you are happy with what you see, Hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the family, guys. Cheers. Don't forget, hit the like button, smash the comments, and don't forget, we buy it so you guys don't have to, and we try it so you guys don't have to. Don't worry about leaving comments because I read all of them that I can, and I try to do whatever you guys ask. I try to do it to an extent. Um, 
So, if you have a request, leave it below. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day and a better evening. And I cannot wait to see you guys on tomorrow's video. Hey, I love you guys to death. Don't forget, welcome to the family. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hey, see you tomorrow. Y'all have a wonderful day.